NOAA released its 2022-2023 winter forecast. And with colder than normal equatorial Pacific sea surface temperatures, that means a La Nina is at play once again. We're talking colder than normal and wetter than normal conditions for much of the Northwest. Feels a bit like deja vu. Yeah, this year's shaping up to be cooler and wetter than normal here across the inland Northwest. But this year is already looking different. The atmospheric pattern that brings more moisture and cooler temperatures to the region is already present. It's set up quick, but that ridge over the Pacific and the storm track over the Northwest is exactly the pattern that played into some of our biggest snow seasons ever recorded. Unfortunately, the pattern present now doesn't guarantee us a winter of snowy wonder. Yowzers! Woo. Weather patterns change, and just as we saw last year, a small shift in storm track can affect an entire season's storm totals. But last year was different. After a slow start to winter, a southwesterly storm track set up. That meant plenty of warm temperatures and rain down in low elevations, but up in the mountains, steady, beneficial snow. While snow levels were nearly non-existent in valleys, the mountains boasted a jump in snowpack early in the season that got us through a pattern shift that we just couldn't kick. By mid-January, a ridge of high pressure set up overhead. That kept all of the moisture out of the region. Rain and snow were hard to come by. And not until spring did we see that La Nina pattern set up, bringing storm after storm over the region and tons of rain, snow, and cooler temperatures that took us into the start of summer. That pattern is present right now. And if it holds, we are talking a cooler and wetter winter. So with a La Nina forecast, it's likely we wind up somewhere between Camilla and Mark on a stool. I'm doubling down. Last year, we talked about how in Spokane, an average winter boasts about 46 inches of snow, or one Camilla. This year we have Camilla and Lucas, and since they've grown a bit, I'm gonna need you guys to crouch down ever so perfect. Right there. Up to about, oh, well, one mark on a stool. Mark, if I could. Yep. So this winter, heading into La Nina, we could get anywhere between uh, Camilla and Lucas to a mark on a stool. A year ago, I stood in central Washington and said a two to three foot winter wasn't out of the question. That stands headed into this year. In Coeur d'Alene, we talked last year about how an average winter delivers about my eyebrows worth of snow. Now, all of that snow isn't going to be on the ground all at once, and with a La Nina at play, it's likely we get a little more. But with those colder temperatures, that snow will likely be seen more along sidewalks and city streets throughout the year. I'm already dreaming of fresh turns and clean snow all winter long. So for that reason, and the La Nina in place, I'm doubling down. We're talking tons of snow. Might not be one for the record books, but we're at least going to be talking some clean turns in those mountains all winter long. As we head into winter, the Northwest is once again in need of moisture. More than half of the Northwest is facing some sort of drought. So with the La Nina on the horizon, that's good news because it means colder temperatures and more snow and that snow staying on the ground, not just in low elevations, but up in the mountains where it can be beneficial for much of the dry summer months ahead. So maybe, just maybe, the third time's the charm.